This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another Paint with Rob. Today we are doing Somicide Invaders. Last, uh, the, a couple days ago we did the workers. Today we're doing the hunters without me rambling on about it. Why don't we go down to the table and check it out. Okay, so we're back with some more guys from Zombicide. Uh, these guys are a little more aggressive and cause a little bit more problem. Again, I want you to see what the bases are. I don't want to... Uh, you, you get stuck on these bases because we're going to do something at the very end and I'm going to show when we go and base this entire project. Now, again, we went with the same kind of color scheme. We went with the Rackard uh, flesh. I don't want to rehash something and, and, you know, go through and spend like 20 minutes showing you what I did, but I can explain it very quickly. We went with the, that really gray flesh and then I put a nice red wash over then what I did is I took some pink whore because all we're trying to do is get our base coats here. So I got my base coat of pink whore in here for the for the faces here. Next thing I did was I did another one with, with that same kind of flesh, but this time I used a new oil. And then again, I'm giving you two different ways that you can really do this because you can bang through these. There's only, I think there's only like 10 of these guys. And I, I'll give you the official name and the title here, but it just escapes me at this time. So again, just getting the base coats. I know it doesn't look 100% great yet, but trust me, we're going to be able to bring these things to life. And that's what it really comes down to. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, we're, we're, going to add, we're going to add a few things. So I'm going to let these dry up a little bit because I just put that pink horror on. And I didn't want to bore you to death uh, just showing you how to put that on. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to add a, a couple more base uh, pieces. And then, boom, we're going to start our highlighting part where we're really going to start bringing this to life. And that's what All we right, really want. next thing I want to do is I want to take some of this changeling pink. Before I start doing their bodies, I really want to try to get these tentacles or whatever the heck they are just kind of under control. And I, I want to just kind of just very lightly go over and give them a little bit of depth. All right. And that's all I want to do because we're actually going to kind of go over them again with uh, a little bit uh, something else there too. These are really some weird looking figures and uh, these xenomorphs are really well, they're just gross <laughs> so we're going to take care of that one and then we're going to do the same thing with our other one here uh, just taking and really just working our brush in there we don't have a lot of this dry paint on here we just want to we just don't want it to look you know very stationary if, 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 if that even fits we want to put some depth in there and really just work that in there and you can see we're just really just making a very quick job of these guys and really just getting them ready because they're not the stars of our show that's for sure and we want to we want to get to those guys but we want to get all the easy quick get them done characters that are going to get obliterated pretty quickly and we're going to be tossing them around pretty much like pawns in a chess game we want to get those done quick but we want to really make them stand out pretty decently so there we go so we're gonna stop there now we're gonna start working on the body so we'll be back when we start doing that now it doesn't matter what you do from here you know you it, it, it's really got to be a, a, an acquired taste and for me I like to take a little Federson gray Federus gray whatever they want to call it yeah, I have a hard time saying it and all I want to do is I really take a lot of it off my brush and then all I want to do I just want that kind of bluish disgusting hue in there and for me that really works so working it in here a bit and as you can see I don't have a lot on my brush but I'm really making sure I don't hit those pink those pink areas but do you see how that sits up I really 
there's just something about that the way it just sits up in there I really like that look and this is what works for me you know and uh, it maybe maybe you want to do something differently and I think that's cool too but having that sit on top of that and and you can see where I just kind of really kind of work it in here want to be careful around the head here or if that's what they call a head there and really just have that work in there and I'm gonna do the same thing here because this really works for me here too just a little bit over over some of that yeah over that see how that just kind of blends in there a little bit and it gives it a reddish hue now you could do them either way you want uh, so I, I prefer almost this one a little bit more than this one but um, you know I do them both ways uh, only because they're just so different and I just I, I kind of like just having that that different hue and them all not being kind of the same and uh, I'm gonna do the same on this side and I'm gonna finish these up and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna move on all to right. our next step now that we got pretty much everything kind of squared away with these guys we want to add a little yashabi bone here and these guys have a little bit of claw here so we're gonna add that in there but they really have some kind of claw thing here and I just think it uh break things up a little bit and add a little something different if we add you know some yashabi bone right in here and I think it just adds a really nice dimension here and they've got some teeth in here that that are hard to get to so you right inside the mouth here is some teeth so you kind of want to get those and you want to be very careful and you just want to hit some of those teeth nice and that's gonna really help bring out some of the things that you're trying to accomplish here so you know we want to get all these claws all these claws and have them sit up and really you know add a little more dimension to our figure here as you can see so I'm gonna finish up all these claws and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you just a couple more things that we're gonna to do to really have this guy very simply just kinda of stand out a little bit the next thing we want to do is we really wanna finish up strong here and uh, I like to take a little bit of this long beard gray and all I'm gonna do it's a dry paint once again so we're gonna take a lot of it off but this is again one of those things where you just when you're highlighting like this all you want to do is just fairly lightly go over and just hit those high spots hit those high spots and really just bring bring some of that definitions that that, that they took time to do and bring it out in there and make this guy about as creepy as they can you can make him all right and just there we go turn that brush a little bit work that in there work some of the muscle tone that well is that muscle or just ectoplasma goop or whatever these things are made out of really just you really want to sell this creature and you just want to bring this out of this creature and really just as you can see add that little bit of gray with that blue highlight and it really does a nice job and the same thing with our other guy here um, all we want to do is just and you can see where it's just sitting up in those spots there where we want it to really just work that in there if you got to load up on your brush a little bit more you load up and uh, you know you take it off you put it on and look at that that's what you want you want to add that definition that you're looking to capture especially right under the chest here into the neck into the arms and really work its way through and do the same thing on this side and really bring these guys out because that's what you want to do all right i'm going to finish these guys up and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you what they look like at the very end and uh we'll give you a nice shot of that and there you have it just a very simple quick to the point version of these guys um you want to get them done quick because we're going to be moving on to some of the bigger 
and more important characters and when you got about 40 figures that are all the same and you really want to kind of bang those guys out and really just hammer them home let's send it up top for my final thoughts on these guys from yeah you got it zombicide invader well there you have it a simple easy way kind of like the workers we added a few more things in there uh, to give it a little bit uh, of a difference, you know, the, they have the things coming out of their mouth like this, you know, like they look like hot dogs, like that, that old 60, oh, forget it. But anyways, easily done, very simple. We've gotten the workers and the hunters down. Now we're moving on to the tanks, the abominations. Once we get them done in our, our next video, we are going to be moving on to our heroes and our robots and then live playthrough completely painted. I'll show you how to do the bases too. Uh, those aren't the way I'm going to leave the bases. That's the base coat and then uh, I want to do it at the end, show you how to do the bases and, and, and really just hammer that home. Simple, easy. You could, you could take some of the things that you saw and possibly utilize it or you can basically do something on your own. What we try to do is give you a good blueprint so when you get your game, everything's laid out for you and you know where to follow. We don't show off, we try to help you and prepare you for when you get your game and that's what's most important. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.